Hey guys, welcome to Ring Still TV. Today is episode 9 of our $500 1,000 yard Steel Elk Challenge. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back here at the bench. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the stock. This stock is pretty flimsy. Um, my normal recommendation would be if somebody came to me with a stock like this is just to get another stock. Uh, but we have a serious budget build here. I just can't afford to drop $200 on this gun uh, given our $500 total build budget. So we're going to do something together. Something I've never done before and uh, something I've seen a few videos on YouTube about. So let me show you what the problem is. First of all, on this end here, uh, this gun is, is supposed to be free-floated. We'll just take a bill here. A lot of pe people use one bill. And uh, we'll go through here. And you can see it's, it's free-floated. Uh, it's hitting something down there, just barely. But if you just barely put any pressure on this thing... It, it's jammed up. I mean, I'm talking about a quarter of a pound, maybe, in either direction. It, it's stuck. That means if I put any pressure on this thing, uh, on the bipod, it's not going to be free-floated anymore. What we need to do is we need to uh, inlet this a little bit more here on, this, on the stock. And, uh, and then we also need to add some kind of stiffener because the uh, stock itself is pretty flimsy. Um, let me get the, the barreled receiver out of the um, stock and let's see if we can take a closer look and see what we want to do here. Okay guys, I've unscrewed the um, receiver from the stock and this was the other issue that I noticed about this gun earlier is that when the action screws are undone, if you move this gun forward and back, or this barrel forward and back, if I pull and push, you'll actually hear it clicking in there. Listen. So I feel like we need to bed that. What that is, is the um, receiver is loose on the um, lug itself. And uh, so when you fire this gun, it could move backwards uh, under recoil a little bit. And that little bit of play will also open up our group. So I want to see what we can do to resolve that. Normally that would be with bedding. So anyway, I've got the action screws off. We'll take a look here at the stock now. So this is what we have to deal with. This stock, it, it twists a little bit. When you twist it, it also moves side to side. So what we need to do is we need to get in here with the Dremel and inlet all of this stuff here to to make a bigger gap for the barrel to fit in the second thing we need to do is down here in this area i think what i want to do is try and bed this like you would a normal uh, wood stock um, if you remember right these pillars are kind of low down inside here uh, i did say we were going to try and measure this and uh, those this back one is worse it measures It measures uh, 1.38 deep, or I'm sorry, 0.138 deep, and the front one measures 0.97 uh, deep, so almost a tenth of an inch deep. So these pillars aren't coming up very far, and after a lot of thought, I think what I want to do here is we're going to JB weld all of this in here and um, bed the receiver into this plastic stock. Uh, to do that, we'll have to scuff this up. I think I'm gonna use a little drill bit and drill some holes in here to give the uh, JB Weld something to stick to. And the second thing we wanna do is on the front of this, we need to stiffen this up and I wanna fill these chambers up uh, with something. Let me grab that. Okay, so for, for this area in here, we talked about the JB Weld. We'll put the JB Weld that we had left over from the um, base install. So there's no additional cost there. This should be enough to do all of this. And then for the uh, front area up here, what I got was this. I saw some videos online about using uh, rockite. And this is, uh, this is uh, some kind of um, uh, cement product. 
and it's getting really good reviews for stiffening up stocks. So we'll mix some of this up and we'll put it up into this area. This tub here is way more than we need, but for whatever reason, I don't know if Walmart had some kind of uh, special going on this or what, but I ordered it on the website and this was actually um, the least expensive route to go with the Rockite. They sell it in two other box sizes and then this. Um, so I'm putting the price on this right now. I don't know if they're still running that or not, but it was it was super inexpensive. So this will keep us uh, in our budget. So I've never done this before, guys. I've never put rock height. I've never stiffened up before in. This is all new to me. We're, we're just going to do this together. This can be a complete failure. Um, I, I have no clue. Um, and as far as bedding back here in the back, again, same thing. I don't even know if JB Weld's going to stick to this, this plastic or not. So... Who knows, we could be just screwing this whole gun up, um, but we'll, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. We've got to do something because I think this is affecting the group. So anyway, let me get everything set up and we'll come back and we'll get a good look at this. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I've decided is we're going to use a Dremel tool and I've got some various heads here. Here's one, here's a round one little smaller round one. I also have these little drums here we can try. And of course, the little cutoff wheel. I think what I'm gonna do is just kinda guesstimate this by putting some tape here to act as a, as a guide for where we need to, where we need to cut this at. All right, the tape's on there. We've got just a little, little gap here. I'm gonna just try and cut down that little gap. I think I'm gonna start with the uh, cutoff wheel and we're gonna work our way down here. So let me see if I can get this in a good position. Okay, um, without a doubt, this, this round head here works really good. Um, I think maybe the, the uh, cutoff wheel works good to kind of get it started, but this, this allows me to really kind of get in there. So I think this is gonna be our primary tool here is this little round, round tool here. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of inlet all this and then um, we'll, uh, we'll get a good look at it. All right guys, so I'm pretty much done here, uh, ready to kind of do a test fit. Um, I thought I was recording, but I think I missed some stuff here. So just to recap, I used this cutoff wheel to kind of get a good line down the side here next to the tape. Um, and then I went through and inleted everything with this, with this uh, ball here and uh, got all the, all the 
chambers and then also the side and kind of gave myself a little bit more clearance. Um, and then I went back, which you guys probably didn't see is with a chisel. And then I took all the uh, plastic off that was uh, kind of sticking up or, or stuck to it. As you, as you work this deal um, with the, uh, as you work this deal with the, um, with the ball, all this plastic, it just kind of melts, you know? So you got to get it off. So that's what I did is I used the chisel, a sharp chisel, and was able to um, get all that cleaned up. So I think that's enough. What we're going to do is test fit the uh, gun right now and see if we've made an improvement. Also, just for clarity's sake, I also... Um, Oh yeah, there's plenty of room in there now. Uh, let me bolt this up real quick, and uh, we'll 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 see just how much we've inlet it. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. We're back. Um, so you can see my gap here, um, and just to show you how much we've inleted here, it there's a lot of room now for this to float. I'm gonna take my bill. Check it. Super free floated. Super free floated. That's what we're going to call it. Let's, uh, we're going to double this bill up. Do the same thing. No issues even doubled up. So, uh, I think that is probably enough. Yeah, so uh, what we'll do now is um, let me take this tape off and get a kind of a look at it and then we'll start thinking about how we're going to get the rock kite in there and uh, stiffen this fore end up so it doesn't, doesn't move as much as it is right now. Okay, that's cleaned up pretty well. I'm gonna go blow this out with the air compressor and uh, we'll start figuring out what we're gonna do next. Okay, before we put this thing together, I just uh, wanted to do a really quick update. You remember we had a uh, added an additional sling stud here in this location. Um, I used uh, this washer here in between the uh, sling stud and the body and that's kind of how it was. Well. I didn't really like that sling stud there or that washer there. It looked kind of goofy to me, but as I took it off, I realized that it was actually cracked now. So it's a good thing we took that off. So I'm just going to remove that that washer altogether, and we're just going to gonna mount it like the other one right there. So anyway, just quick update. I'll put this together, and then we'll get started on uh, getting this thing um, stiffened up. So guys, um, I got this all mounted up here and and we've taped off everything we don't want the uh, cement to get to but I got to thinking about this and I don't know an ice cube tray kind of came to mind and didn't really didn't really, really wonder if that cement's gonna stick to this or not so I think what I'm gonna do here is um, I've just chucked up a little drill bit in the in the um, Dremel and I'm just drilling holes in here and then hopefully the uh, cement will go across between these and uh, that'll hold them in. Uh, I don't think roughing this up is going to do a darn thing for the cement. So we're going to try this and see what happens.
All right, uh, I'm gonna go blow this out with the air compressor and uh, uh, we'll see if we can get this thing going now. Okay, uh, let's see here. We're going to uh, mix up the rock kite. I've got it here in this uh, in the solo cup. I'm just gonna use some distilled water. I don't think it matters what you use. Uh, I want to get into a consistently the consistency that we can pour it in here. So uh, let me go do that. I'm gonna do this outside. I don't want to get this stuff on my bench, and then I'll bring it back and we'll pour it in together and see how it goes. Got this mixed up. Looks like it'll flow a little bit. Might take a little bit longer to dry. Um, I think it's ready to go in. Um, let me see. This is kind of a one-shot deal here, I think. Um, I want to make sure this thing is level so we don't have have uh, rock kite kind of flowing everywhere. All right, that looks great. All right, guys, best I can tell, we just need to pour this in here. So let's give that a go and see how it goes. Okay, I do see it squeezing out of the holes that I drilled, which is good. starting to stiffen up just a little bit just kind of forming it now okay guys um, it's all on now I don't I, what I will say is this, that was pretty thin and it is setting up, it's incredible how fat, this is already, the, the whole cup is warm and you guys saw how thin that was, it, it's already solid as a rock. Uh, so I need to check the instructions, I think this is going to set up pretty darn fast. So we'll see how that goes, I think what I'm going to do now is just take this tape off um, since it's already hardening and uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay, I blew out all the crims. We're just gonna let that set up like that. Uh, I'm gonna use a little water here just on the front. And oh, we might not even need to do that. Yeah, we're all right. Uh, so yeah, right now, I feel pretty good about this, mainly because I could see the rockite moving through those holes that I drilled between the baffles. And uh, I think we're gonna be glad we did that. My fear was, as I got to thinking about it, that this would turn into like an ice cube tray and under recoil or what, they might pop out or something. I don't know. Um, just an extra step. I don't even know if it was necessary. So we'll let this set up and dry. Um, I think I read four to six hours on the deal. And uh, we'll come back and then we'll start working on bedding this back section here. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe below. If you have any comments, also leave those below. I'm always happy to answer any questions. And uh, until next week, happy shooting.